Welcome back to our Mango Paint mini series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get your first coat of paint on a cute little table, just like this. Okay, so the color I'm going to use today is called Evelyn. It's a really soft blue green. Um, it's a really beautiful color, and because it's like a nice spring day out, I feel like this is a nice spring color to be using today. So, when you open your paint, you always want to make sure you give it a really good stir before you start. Any good quality synthetic brush will work great. The paint actually wants to self-level and it actually eliminates brush strokes sort of on its own, which is kind of awesome. Do use a good quality brush. Get a good amount of paint on there, so I always sort of go halfway up on my bristles. Um, and I'll start with this little drawer here just to show you. So you really just want to get the paint on there. Sometimes I do little brush strokes to get it on there. And then even if you do tend to do a lot of this kind of back and forth painting, you want to make sure that when you're done, oh my gosh, look at this coverage. You just want to give it one nice once over in the full direction of your drawer. So a rule that we have here is that if something was finished before, that's what we paint again. So people always ask, where do we stop on our drawer? Should I be painting this whole inside of the drawer? But the top of the drawer and the side here, which I'll get in a second, <laughs> coming right in, the side has um, the same finish as the outside of the little table. So anything that has the same finish, that's what we're gonna make sure that we're painting over. So there's one coat on the drawer. It looks super cute already. It's gonna level out a bit as it dries. I'll start on this leg. And you can see like really great coverage with just one coat in this color, which is beautiful. And I do like to do nice long brush strokes. I get the paint on and then I give it a one quick once over to smooth it out. And be careful under here because I don't want to get it on the drawer. Typically I would take the drawer out. This one has a funny little safety lock that doesn't want me to remove it. So rather than fiddle with it, I'm just going to paint around it. And I always like to paint under this lip as well. Sometimes people don't paint there, but I think it makes a difference. So I usually do that first because it gets little marks up in my paint here and then I can smooth those out as I apply paint on the large flat area. Do this bottom area here. Whenever you're painting an edge, you want to make sure you're um, mindful of any drips that go across your edges and just smooth them out as you go. One nice thing about the mango paint is that it's very, very forgiving. So once your paint smooths out and flattens out as it dries, if you do notice that you have any um, little marks or brush strokes or drips even, once your paint is dry, they're super easy to sand out. It sands out really, really nice and soft. Ooh, this is looking cute already. So just a damp rag is always a really great tool to have whenever you're painting. Uh, the reason for that is if you have any drips or you find something gets into your paint, or for example, when I'm painting around these little um, brass feet down here, which are super cute, if I accidentally get paint on them, a damp rag um, right away while your paint is wet is a really quick way to clean up any little glitches that you have. Now, if I was going for a really clean look, um, and I wasn't planning to distress this table very much, uh, I would probably put a second coat on it. But actually, I want this table to look fairly worn, and I'm gonna distress it fairly heavily. So I'm gonna leave it with just the one coat, which I think is gonna be really pretty, once we distress it and then put our wax finish on there. It's gonna be gorgeous. That's it. That's the table, painted. It looks super cute.